there. <coughs> It'd be really simple, really basic. Never done a video like this. We're just gonna go over the patch notes for wipe that's supposed to be happening here in just a couple seconds. Uh, so the game should be up at 6.30 p.m. for me. Uh, today on March 15th. So this will be interesting. They said that the patch is supposed to take about six hours. So like I said, it should be up around 6.30 for me. Um, okay, so the kobolds were not supposed to call the giants. Fix an issue where players could attack opponents through walls or floors in certain terrain. Okay, well that's that's a good change then. I never personally experienced that and never heard anything about it, so that's interesting. I haven't played much after hitting Demigod though. Um detection performance. I don't I don't know what that means. I'm gonna be honest. I guess it's just improved stability overall and maybe detecting when problems occur. Um, let's see. Okay, new special effects for the the torches and roasters. Outlines, I guess, of like either dead body. It's probably of dead bodies and of uh, lootables and stuff for the outlines. I don't know. Fighters breakthrough now ignores most movement blocks and movement slows for five seconds. What did? It... So there's still some CC that's gonna affect them. I don't know what it is. Uh, the magic lock spell we saw on the test server, it just locks a door for 20 seconds. That might be interesting. Overload. Creep no longer makes footsteps. Okay. So completely silent. Fuck yeah. You move slower, but whatever. All right, cool. Cross... These are fucking massive rogue buffs, hell yeah. Don't have to use a fucking perk to use crossbows anymore. Tumbling's been improved, nice. Nice win. They adjusted the range of smoke pot. I hope that they removed charges and lets you let you just place it normally again. Um ambush and shadow runner are now one thing. So if okay. Pickpocket and hit it pockets are the same thing. Okay. Lock pick and trap detection. That's solid. Visible while moving. All right. Chase and enhanced hearing. Okay, that makes sense. A new perk, camping mastery. I guess that'll probably let them do rations or something. Or they'll rest better when when using a campfire or they place a campfire faster um we'll we'll see what it is when we get in the game these are all just um speculations <coughs> let's see uh where was i backstep i'm assuming that's going to be a skill that increases their movement speed while walking backwards additional 10 strength on top of the whatever 8 to 12 i don't remember what the al actually gave i know it gave strength but it's 10 additional so that's quite a bit be hitting a little harder overhealing i assume that's going to make any healing over full health a shield um i have no idea what holy water will be it might be something similar to rations or it might be like um a spell regen that'll be interesting to see uh faithfulness what would faithfulness it, would that be a will increase no they have a will increase already don't they i'm not sure it's been a while i'm not sure what faithfulness would do 
Encore's cooldown is four seconds. The autoplay, okay. Still probably gonna be ten spell or ten song bard though, unless you use sprint or something with the multi classing. Um increased range on dissonance. I don't know what Fermata would be. I don't, I'm not a big music person. Uh, Party Maker? The fuck is Party Maker gonna do? It sounds interesting though. Immortal Lament Penalty has been removed. Oh, so your damage reduction for not dying to your own spells has been removed okay uh shadow touch i assume that's gonna be a damage up that's probably gonna be some kind of buff to demon form that might be like a some kind of health sacrifice to get some kind of stat boost, I would guess. New armor's been added. New monster loot. No more legendary crafted items, only epic, which they talked about that in the Q&A with one peg. Increased value of all random modifiers. They probably didn't increase plus damage, but they probably increased the rest of them. Uh... Can no longer check random modifiers. That's that's fair, honestly. That way you can't just craft bis. It's not long fucking patch notes. Um We already know about the fixed maps because that was in the dev QA with one peg and the other group, I don't remember. Um Two new layouts for goblin caves. All right, solid. Some areas in goblins caves where it's difficult to move between floors have been fixed. Okay. Two escape stairs from ice cavern has been removed. Oh no. Secret doors in crypts have been improved. I don't remember. I don't remember what the secret doors are in crypts, so that doesn't really help me. I've played a lot of this game, but I haven't done, like, a whole lot of diving into it. Marvelous Chest is no longer locked. S finally. Finally. That was probably a... Ri that Like, one of the worst feelings is beating the boss and then not having a lockpick for the Marvelous Chest. It's a fucking awful feeling. Overall item drop rate has changed. Uh, adventure rank rewards are now given. You can receive it from the leaderboards page. All right, so I'll get my cape as soon as that's open. Quests have weekly activations depending on the chapter. Okay. Squire has been added. Okay, I'm glad the squire is coming, so that, that's going to be great. Oh... So we're able to over level in, or I say over level, level up and get the tokens now, but we won't be able to multi-class until later. Death cam has been added. We saw a bit of the death cam with the, uh, the test server. Two new emotes. Uh, there's now the gift code system and You ha you can gift trial gift codes from your to your friends. That's solid. Um, thank you for patiently waiting. Wipe three in this update, we've endeavored to ch enhance the game's systems based on the diverse feedback received from the previous season. There was a lot of complaining on Reddit. I'm sure they read through a lot of it. We'll see what happens. Goal for this season, including the preseason, is. To approximately last three months but three months was too long i thought they i thought they said that three months was too long i thought they were going to make it shorter um they tested a bunch of dungeon selection systems they're going to stick with the the lock to one map 
and probably most because it's most cost efficient and it keeps the player base from being too separated so it keeps the lobbies keep going getting full or it has more people and more lobbies um So the squires to help with normal games, though, if you're trying to like zero to hero, obviously it's going to help you on that. Uh, random modifiers had a negative impact on the game. Oh, actually, I guess I should read it out loud. In the last season, mo random modifiers had a negative impact on the game. To address this, we made the acquisition and selection more convenient, but this inadvertently reduced the value of items and diminished the sense of excitement when obtaining top-tier items. We now feel like we have more systems and tools to help with these issues, so we've lowered the dungeon drop rates and strengthened the modifiers a bit. So basically, legendaries are going to be more rare, is what it amounts to, and hopefully they come out better. Though, I don't expect them to come out much better. While it might not be the perfect time to test the multi-class system, we will introduce an exper experimental training system this season to explore the possibility of offering a fully developed multi-class system in the future. That's not what it says, but what? Multi-classes in the future. My bad. To encourage more players to participate in White 3, we are launching a 30% discount on game packages. We also have... We also completed a gift code system that allows you to gift packages to friends. We are providing players who have played until Wipe Through with a trial gift code that allows them to play the standard edition for 10 days, so please use it to adventure through the dungeons with your friends. Finally, we apologize for not delivering, for not always delivering perfection. We promise to continuously improve the game based on your feedback and strive to make it more enjoyable. Thank you so much as always. Honestly, overall, I think it's going to be really fucking fun, and we're going to have some long fucking streams tomorrow and sunday um i may have work tonight i'm still not certain but uh because something came up at work so we'll see what happens anyway thank you guys for watching um and hopefully i will see you guys on stream peace